So I got two on-the-go receivers from Banggood, but the white one didn't work. It was a lemon with a botched solder job. So let's see if we can fix it. The white one has a little chip right here that didn't get soldered on right. So I think maybe I should examine the black one to see if it has the same chip and how it's soldered on there. So I do see some similarities. The black one has the same chip right here that the white one does. A same cluster of resistors and then there's this inductor on both of them that has the same rating. So let's figure out what this chip is. I suspect it's some sort of voltage regulator. Now if we look closely we can see the chip says it's a WC7LQ and that's on the black one. On the white one it was a WC7II. So I did a Google search for the WC7LQ or the WC7II integrated circuit IC and I came up with this so looking at that link I also see that it's not only a lead driver IC but also a power adapter IC so that kind of explains it so I verified that on both units the 5 volts from the USB was supposed to go to this resistor it might be a capacitor I don't know and then to the middle pin on the IC on the right side this dot up in the upper left hand corner is pin 1 and that explains why this one is not getting any power at all and not coming on so my next move is to try to apply heat to these two pins here while slowly lifting it with an exacto blade and then remove the other side and try to solder it back on there so I'll be back I use some CA glue to fasten on a piece of PLA filament so I can get a better grip on the chip when I desolder it and when I solder it back on. Well there it is I got it soldered back on. I had a little trouble with one pin breaking off over here and I had to make a little solder bridge on this corner but other than that it went on pretty good. Okay so I got it back in the case now so I want to be able to use three cell batteries on this camera here. The all-in-one cameras sometimes only take a one cell battery so I've got this little voltage regulator that's going to break a three cell battery down to just five volts and I'm soldering on a JST connector right here on the input and I'm going to have a little cable like this on the output that will plug right into here on the camera so I just need to solder that over here pretty simple and then I could put a piece of heat shrink over it so now I can run my all-in-one camera off this regulator right here and use a larger battery like a 3-cell, which I have here. This will give me plenty of time to test out the diversity feature on this ROTG O2. So here's the ROTG O2 right here from Eosheen. And I want to check these two antenna ports to see if it's really diversity. The camera's outside right now, the all-in-one camera, and it's transmitting 5.8. So now if I go ahead and put one antenna on here, you can see we get a picture. So this port over here is, doesn't have an antenna, it's not picking up anything. Okay, now let's move the antenna to the other port. And you can see that we've got a picture again. So it looks like the diversity does work. Okay, now let's try the scanning feature. And what I'm going to do is just hold one of the buttons. And there it goes scanning along. I've got two cameras hooked up now. So I've got uh, one camera over that way and one camera over that way. It's picking up the different signals. It's going to fix on the bigger one right there. Okay, but we can use these two buttons to go forward and backward like that. You can probably see the marker moving along there. The marker over to the next camera. And there you go. Now I'm on that one. You can probably see me standing right here. Okay. It's pretty handy. I like having the two buttons on this one over just having one button on the ROTG01 because this one does allow you to go backwards and forwards through the frequencies with two buttons. That's kind of nice. 
Other than that, it works about the same, except it has diversity. So the fix on the O2 is complete. I now have two good on-the-go receivers, and I learned a little bit about how the O2 works. See you next time.